Welcome to our NBN Academy quick course on using the new Norfolk Air application. Here are some quick tips. The first and most obvious tip is to look up information on any property by putting in the address. For instance, if you were driving by and saw this historic house on the south side, you could look up the address and find out that it was built around 1800 and last sold in 1979. You could also look up code violations or building permits. Because the building is securely and legally boarded up, there are no building code violations at this time. If you looked up the zoning, it provides links to the zoning for this area, but you would also see this property, the Hodges House, has its own historic overlay. Do you ever forget your recycling day? Norfolk Air provides that information too. While here, you can also click on the street view and get a better view from the street. The next tip is a new feature Civic Leagues might find helpful. Click on the funnel icon from the home screen. Pull down a Civic League. Then click on Apply Filters. This will give you all of the addresses in a Civic League up to a thousand addresses. You can then download a pre-formatted mailing list if you want to do a mailing to the people in your neighborhood. Perhaps you want to do a historical tour of the neighborhood. If I wanted to visit homes built between 1900 and 1921 in the same neighborhood as earlier, I would select the Civic League filter, enter the years in the date filter, and apply the filters. This gives me a list of houses in that neighborhood built between 1900 and 1921. If I select a property, I can double check. This house was built in 1917. Say I was thinking about moving near the Sherwood Forest Community Center. If I didn't know the address but knew where it was, I could use the map. I would zoom into the location, then I would select the Info tool, and click on the property. If I click on the More tab, I can find area sales. Someone savvy with a spreadsheet can download the information and do a statistical analysis. If I did move near the Recreation Center and wanted to host a back-to-school ice cream social, I could use the Select tool to give me all the addresses to send invitations. I can once again download a pre-formatted mailing list. A final tool that may be helpful is the All Imagery tool, which can show how neighborhoods have changed over time. On the map to your right is the area around the new Jordan Newby Anchor Branch Library at Broad Creek. If I click on the All Imagery, it will give me a panel of four aerial images. I may have to adjust the zoom level, but I can select what year the aerial imagery uses in each of the panels going all the way back to 1999. This particular panel shows the difference between then and now. We hope these tips have been helpful and that you can make use of this great software.